Hello, everybody. This is the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast, and I'm Kenneth Copeland. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this broadcast. We're blessed, and it's all because of you, Jesus. And we thank you, and we open our hearts again today, and we open our minds for revelation from heaven. And we thank you for insights, ideas, and concepts of the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Remember that. Insights, ideas, and concepts. I see. (laughs) Insights, ideas, and concepts. That's the way, that's the way the Spirit of God works. He gives you insight. He gives you ideas and concepts of His way of doing things. Amen. Amen. Let's open our Bibles again to the 11th chapter of Mark once more. We'll go back to this and refer to this. Verse 22, Jesus answering saith unto them, have faith in God. Now, we're talking about the developing, the training, the educating of the born again human spirit, Mm -hmm. the most important part of you because it is you. So, um, this, well, let's finish reading this. Have faith in God. Well, where is faith? Is it in the mind? No, it's not a mental force. It's spiritual force. Remember the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians? Now abides faith, hope, and love, these three. Those are spiritual forces. And now here here is, we're talking about and we start off talking about meditating in the Word. And this is something that comes from meditating the Word. Mm-hmm. Hope is a spiritual force. It's not a mental force. People use it as a mental force. Well, are you going to be healed tonight? Brother Copeland, I sure hope so. No, you ain't hoping. You're wishing. Yes, yes. Come on. Real Bible hope says, well, absolutely. Are you kidding me? My hope is up. Glory to God. Healing belongs to me. Are you kidding me? Of course I'll be healed tonight. Come on. That's real Bible hope. But see, I'm telling you, you've got to do some some spend some time in that yes. because the whole world is using the world or the word hope. Everybody's using yes. the word hope and yes. don't have a clue what hope is. Come on. Oh God. Amen. 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 Now have faith in God for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe where? In his heart, that those things, those words, which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. So we can see just from this right here that it is vitally important that the spirit man grow up. That that, that, That the spirit man grow up and be an adult and not just a baby tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine, but grow up into him. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give you all five of these. If you can just jot them all down, but you can see how they (laughs) fold together. Meditation in the word. That's the first one. That's where you start. Mm -hmm. Then being a doer of the word. Now, think about this. All of these take decisions. 
I have to decide to meditate in the Word Mm -hmm. and then do it. Mm -hmm. Doing it once or twice won't (laughs) won't do anything. Hey, this is a life's work. This is a way of life. Hallelujah. And you make time for these things. So being a doer Mm -hmm. of the Word, acting on it, the way you would act on the word of a lawyer, a doctor, a very highly trusted friend or family member. I know my dad, A.W. Copeland. Man, there wasn't any doubt in my heart or mind. If my dad said he's going to do this, write it down, brother, because it's going to happen. He's a man of his word. I wasn't. I was like that little boy. (laughs) The teacher asked him in Sunday school, what is a lie? He said, it's an abomination to God and an ever present help in a time of need. (laughs) (laughs) Well, (laughs) that might be a seducing spirit. (laughs) That's exactly what it is. But anyway, (laughs) anyway, Man, I learned, I, I learned from my dad. Anyway, <laughs> there's another little boy in, in Sunday school and the, the, they said she, she was teaching and she said, and Lot's wife looked back and turned into a pillar of salt. This little boy said, huh, that ain't nothing. My mama looked back and turned into a telephone pole. <laughs> If I remember right, I got that from Charles. I may have got both of those from Charles Caps. I kind of think I did. He's in heaven today. Praise God. And I miss him too. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then put the word first place so that God's word. See, if, if we don't realize that God's, uh, uh, God can't lie. That's right. It isn't that he won't. He can't. Think about it. This came from meditating on that one day. Man, I was just meditating. What do you mean you can't lie? Mm. Mm. And it's just as clear and plain that uh, if the Lord just appeared suddenly and said, isn't this a wonderful Saturday? And everybody said, uh, 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 no, no. No, Lord, uh, this, uh, this is Wednesday. Not anymore, it is. <laughs> All the calendars would change. I mean, the, the, the planets would, you know. He can't lie. This book is a copy of the truth. Hallelujah. And it can be trusted. Now, also, The scripture tells you very clearly in 1 John, we've known the love. The Greek was konosko, which means intimate relationship with. You knew that when you got born again. Mm -hmm. But we've known and believed the love that God has to it. Now, most Christian people don't believe that. Oh, Brother Copeland, don't start that. I believe he loves me. Really? And then you got sick and all upset. I just don't see how you can let this happen to me. Don't you care? Huh? (laughs) Amen. Amen. Natural, physical love. That's bankrupt. But the natural thinking carnal mind still has love in that category. In the beginning, love created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is love. And you meditate that and believe his love. And when he's telling you 
This is something you need to be doing. Love is telling you that. Yes, yes. Not somebody that's down on you. Come on. That's right. that's He's right. never down on you. Come on. Come well, on. Brother Copeland, I know he gets mad at me. You're a liar. Come on. Mm-hmm. That's right. All right. <laughs> Just turn your lying self over there <laughs> to the book of Isaiah. Oh, if more people. Oh, my, 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 my. Isaiah chapter 54. Now, you remember Isaiah chapter 53. Surely he hath borne our pain, our sicknesses, and carried our pain. Yes. The King James says, griefs and sorrows. Well, he bore our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yes. So that's not an untruth, right. that, that, uh, but the uh, a more accurate translation is he bore our sicknesses right. and carried our pains. Mm-hmm. All right, that's Jesus on the cross. Mm-hmm. Isaiah 54 is God talking to the church. Glory to God. Oh, sing, O barren that did not bear. And, and, and boy, hey, Calvary has happened. And here we are. Jesus has borne the wrath of God. Amen. Amen. And look at this. Verse 8. Or verse 7, for a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercy will I gather thee. What was that small moment? Three days and three nights. Yes. In a little wrath, I hid my, hid my face from thee for a moment. That was when Jesus was hanging on that cross in the 53rd chapter. Listen now. But with everlasting kindness, that is the Hebrew word hesed, which is covenant kindness. I choose, I will. The word agape means I will love. It's an act of the will, not the feelings. Oh, get it. Stay with me. I will have mercy on thee, saith the Lord, thy Redeemer. Let me ask you something. I'm asking all of you out there in the radio and in the uh, television audience. Is there going to be another all devastating flood on this earth? Now, everybody in here knew the answer to that. (laughs) Didn't hesitate. Well, I don't know, Brother Cole. Yeah, you do. It ain't going to happen. This is as the waters of Noah unto me, as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth. Woo! So have I sworn I would not be wroth with thee nor rebuke thee. Lord, glory to God. Now he'll correct you. Some people have that, well, you know, he'll just, you know, he'll beat you up. No, 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 no. Jesus took the beating. He took the whipping. Went to hell and paid the price. The war is over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is forever satisfied. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He is not mad at you. Disappointed, maybe, but he's still smiling. He said this to me one time. Uh, <laughs> he said to me one day, he said, Kenneth, just, just so clear. And like I said, I've never heard the audible voice of God. But you, you, when, this, when this, and we're going to talk, this is one of the things we're going to talk about before we, before we get through this week, is training to hear the voice of your spirit and the voice of the Lord. That's the reason this spirit man needs to grow up. And he said so plainly, Kenna, I love you, son. I said, glory to God. He said, I don't like you very much. 
Whoa. Why? He said, you're too high tempered. And he said, uh, I told you and commanded you to walk in love. And I need you to do something about that. Well, what do you do? Something about it. That's what you do. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So isn't that a wonderful, hey, look at that. That is so wonderful. And you can go ahead and finish that, that whole chapter. Praise God. Those of you that are partners know that Isaiah 54 is right on the bottom of the letter because this is, this is part of the, 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 the prayer regimen from our partners. Yeah. Great shall be the peace of your children Amen. and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. And every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. That's right. yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, don't preach myself happy. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Wherever we were, let's go back over there <laughs> to it. Hallelujah. Now, well, I'll tell you what, Excuse me. Then we talked about being a doer of the word, acting on the word. Mm -hmm. We talked about let, let's go. Let's look at this in uh, Proverbs in, in uh, chapter four, verse twenty. This is just like having a prescription on the side of a bottle of medicine. This is the prescription for receiving from God. My son, attend to my words. Put it first. Incline thine ear unto my saying. I'm inclined to hear this. Um, well, now, Brother Copeland, I don't know. You know, I know the Bible says that. But see, you're not inclined to hear it. When you, when you make that decision, this word is first place in my life, right. then I'm inclined to hear this. Yes. And there's a lot of times you think you got a real problem, but then when you find out what the Bible says about it, you think, you know, that's no problem at all. That's not the problem I thought it was. I've had that happen a lot of times. I had the Lord say to me, we, we were at a point in the ministry one time where we were a million dollars behind. And, um, Man, I, I, I prayed about it for several days and I said, Lord, I need a million dollars. He said, no, you don't. I said out loud, well, you could have fooled me. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'm surface looking here. Mm. That's right. And uh, he said, no. He said, you have a spiritual problem in the ministry, something I told you and you, you saw it, but then you just kind of passed it off. You didn't, you didn't follow through with it. Mm -hmm. And he said, if I were to give you a million dollars today, that spiritual problem inside the ministry would eat that up and it wouldn't be long. You'd be back uh, behind again because you haven't removed the problem. It's like taking an, an aspirin or a painkiller. You haven't removed the problem. You just... Right. You just put the pain down where you're not feeling. Right. So incline your ear to my sayings. Let them, my sayings, not depart from your eyes. This means you're going to have to put your eyes on the word. It's not good enough just to memorize it. How many of you had breakfast this morning? I did too. I remember exactly what I had. I remember exactly how it tasted. I cannot get nourishment in my body by remembering what I had for breakfast. Wow. That's right. That is good. Now, memorizing scripture, that, I mean, that's excellent. I never have set out to memorize scripture. <laughs> but you, you become a doer of the word and you'll be surprised. It'll just come out of your spirit. It just comes out, brother. Praise God. But the Lord kept getting on me and getting on me. He said, you do what that says there. You take time to put these things in your eyes. It's good. In your, in, in your eyes. See yourself with it. Yes. 
could. Yes. <coughs> Incline thine ear unto my saying, let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. That means, well, you go down here, the, uh, the next one, keep your heart. One translation said, protect your heart with all diligence, for out of it flow the forces of life. Well, isn't that what we're talking about? Isn't it this, this inner man that we're talking about strengthening? Praise God. Amen. You get strong enough, the devil can't steal that word out of you, like right. Jesus talking about in the fourth chapter of the book of Mark. That's true. Satan cometh immediately to steal it. Mm -hmm. Well, don't let him have it. Amen. 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 So they are life. The cross reference says medicine. M medicine is better translation of that word. They are life to those that find them and health. That's where it says medicine. The, the word of God is medicine to your flesh. I like what Gloria, she, she said, take your medicine. Take it three times a day. Glory to God. And if the condition gets worse, double the dose. <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So put that word first place. Now then, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. First Peter chapter three, meditating the word, be a doer of the word, put the word first, obey the voice of your spirit. Then the fifth one is do what God says do. Do it exactly as he said and do it now. Now we'll, we'll spend, we won't get into that today. We're just about out of time today. In fact, we are. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, I'm going to get on you one of these days. Tim Fox, pray, you messing up my message. <laughs> pray, where'd you get anything out of this today? We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.